be in the moment. All right, meditation, the three keys, you gotta do it. Hi, and thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. My name is Ryan Keys. How are you today? You can see my name in the banner above. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I can't, I can't help it. Is this is subliminal. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Please subscribe, like, and comment. It only takes a minute of your day to do it. And I really appreciate it because it gets me in the mood. Not only does it let me know that you're supporting me, it lets me know that you're going down the same path and we're doing this together. And I don't feel so alone over here in the cold with only just a few little bit of members. Okay, so my topic for today is one of those touchy topics that a lot of people that are kind of esoteric um, really don't have a problem with, but other people that are not, that lean more towards the religious side of things, they tend to be a little uptight when they hear the word meditation. Because they think it's like a cult, and it's not. We are all connected. And in the course of being connected, we have to think about what this topic is today. And the topic today is three keys to meditation when you're first starting out. I've been meditating off and on, and I have to be quite honest, a little bit more off than on. Meditation is taking a moment out, a moment out of your time to let go and to let the ethereal or let God speak to you, move inside of you and help you to kind of recalibrate to face the day. My epiphany that I had yesterday, and I kind of have been um, dwelling on this, on how to bring this to you guys. I think that most of us are creatures of the past. So we want to do something different tomorrow but because we've done the same thing today as we did yesterday, nothing today really changes. So the only way that something changes is when a major life occurrence or event, good or bad, comes and smacks us in the face. Then we have to deal with it. And at that point, we break a system, we break the cycle, and we have to adjust. And many of us actually adjust, uh, they, we accommodate the change, and then go back to the same thing because it's, it's, it feels secure, it's comfortable. So meditation is about trying to get past that. And I really love Eckhart Tolle, and he had a lot of good insight. If you haven't checked out Eckhart Tolle, The Power of Now, do it. I'm being serious, seriously. One of the first keys to meditation when you're just starting out, you wanna have the right setting. Like, I don't wanna meditate under hot lights with a backdrop and a big camera in front of me. I don't wanna meditate in my car next to the freeway. I guess I could, woo, go for it. But you wanna meditate in a place where you feel comfortable where you feel safe, where your interruptions are kept to a minimum. You don't wanna have like a lot of people coming up to you, knocking on your door, getting a lot of phone calls, so put the phone on, on silent. If you can go to the beach and meditate, perfect, but I want it to be comfortable. I don't want it to be like really hot, really cold, really loud, really windy. I want it to be something safe. Well, you don't worry if somebody's kind of gonna come up behind you, you don't worry about being interrupted. And then I want you to have number two, a timer, an egg timer, a phone timer, a watch timer, a good timer, I don't care, just a timer. A timer to let you know that, hey, I've got six minutes, one minute to prep, sit down, and get my ass all scooted in, and get my ass all settled, and then I can meditate. So, you need to time yourself, I believe. Why? Because you wanna hold yourself accountable. Everything's about holding yourself accountable to somebody, something, and some time. So, and then you also wanna have something to focus on. Like I said, if you check below the 432 megahertz video, perfect. You don't gotta use it all. If you do, freaking damn, that's awesome. You did better than me, because I made it through 20 minutes. I was snoring like a little baby. So, now, once you get to that point, why are you meditating anyway? You're meditating, because think of meditation as about being more of me. Being more of me, I'm meditating. I'm being more of me. I'm being more of me in the moment. I'm being more. Meditation about meditation is about being me more. Blah, 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 blah. Meditation is about being more of me in the moment. I gotta got put on a shirt. So subscribe. Meditation is about being more of me in the moment. More of me in the moment. Why? Why? Because most of the time I'm behind me. So no wonder I can't focus straight. No wonder I lose my car keys. No wonder I forget to fill up my car with gas. No wonder I'm running late for work. Why? Because I'm fucking I'm in the. I'm thinking about what I did last week. I'm thinking about who hurt me like a year ago. I'm thinking about my dad not being here for the past 10 years. So I've already got myself disheveled. I've already got myself at a disadvantage. I've got to move forward. 
but not too forward. I got to move forward to today. Why? Because if I'm not in this moment, I'm not going to change tomorrow. Tomorrow's waiting for me. Tomorrow's like, oh my God, I can't wait for Ryan to show up. We got such a great day planned. And I'm like, oh shit, but hold up, hold up. Let me go because last Tuesday, um, this person cut me off and wrecked my car. I'm just saying. I can't change anything about last Tuesday. I can't change anything about last year. I can't change anything about when I was 12 years old. So let that shit go. It is called the art of letting go. Let the shit go. Let the shit go. I should make a song and a shirt. Subscribe. Let that shit go. And if you let the shit go, trust me. So once you let that shit go, once you can, are able to be yourself, you can find this moment. When you find this moment, start feeling it. This is about exploring the fascination of having fingers and toes and feeling. When you are living in a past emotion, you are preventing yourself from feeling today. You're preventing yourself from feeling complete today. And for instance, let's say that you get in a fight with your girlfriend or your boyfriend. You are, are you fighting from the moment of this today? Are you fighting from what they did today? Or are you fighting with the force of everything they did for the past four weeks? Because if you're fighting with the force of the past four weeks, you'll never solve today. You'll never end the fight. You will never find true happiness in that situation because you are over flooding it. You are fucker. You're freaking piling in too much shit. So you can't hold up the past and still proceed in the future. So once we start learning to meditate and start to move forward, moving forward isn't about looking at tomorrow either. Moving forward is not about being so hell-bent and so focused on everything that's going to happen in the next 10 years that you miss what's happening right now in this moment. If I get in an argument right now, it should be my full goal to actually argue my point from the moment, not from anything that's happened in the past. Now, there are a couple exceptions. If a situation is detrimental to your safety or your health or your well-being, just get out of it. Don't even entertain it. Just move out of that. Let go of that. Let it all go. If it's a family member, if it's a blood relationship and you really just don't see eye to eye, stop looking back behind you and look forward and maybe you will. Maybe if you make direct eye contact in the moment, you can look past all the things that you've been trying to look through this whole clouded veil that you've been kind of stuck in. This Everybody, begin to meditate if you can. Shoot for three times a week, shoot for five minutes at a moment. Because if you can find that, you got the money shot. <laughs> and I'm not talking about like in, you got some, yes. So be in the moment. Baby steps. If you need any direct help with meditation, remember, intuitive healer and intuitive life coach. I'm here to help you, I'm here to help you make a difference. As the words of Jerry Maguire, help me to help you. Seriously. Peace, light, love, and happiness. Namaste in bed. Get the hell out of here. What are you doing? Go meditate. Seriously.